All right, let's move on, mm-hmm. Maxwell, uh, and switch gears a bit uh, and talk about a story that you wrote this week. It was about Promontory Point. Yeah, so the city has uh, designated $5 million in city bond funds to design, plan and design a uh, repair for Promontory Point, which has been mm-hmm. much like the rest of Chicago's lakefront, battered mm-hmm. by high lake levels, storms, uh, uh, really taking a beating from from Lake Michigan over the last uh, few years, especially. And uh, uh, during that process, neighbors have been very concerned that these repairs mm-hmm. are going to get rid of the most iconic feature of uh, of Promontory Point, which is its l- limestone steps. And those limestone steps, uh, I love to like sit there and look yeah. at the skyline is after it, a bike are ride. Are they sticking around? Uh, so that's what they're leaning towards. This is just a design process uh, that the city is getting started. Uh, promises are being made at this point, no final plans, but promises are being made that the limestone is going to be preserved, uh, that this design process will result in that, and that neighbors' input will uh, have some sort of impact. But again, at this point, it's too soon to say that that's final, just promises being made. Yeah. Well, Lorraine and, mm-hmm. and Alden, what do you guys think? Have you spent time at Promontory? Oh, uh, I have. I mean, who who hasn't? I mean, right. I, exactly. If you live really. in, if you live in, <laughs> if you Jeez, live anywhere <laughs> near there, yes. And the limestone steps yeah. have to stay. Yeah. And yeah. even I mean, I didn't grow up uh, in that area, mm-hmm. but uh, but made many trips to the lake, mm-hmm. of course. And uh, I mean, it, it's 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 such a unique and iconic feature. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's something that many Chicagoans are familiar with. So yeah, best to try to keep them around. Yeah, and especially for such a segregated city, I, I do believe that's probably the most diverse place. You go there, and it's people not just sitting next to each other, not just like showing face next to each other. They're interacting with each other. Uh, different people that look different from each other, people that are different ages. It's a really wonderful place to be in terms of diversity mm-hmm. in this city. Yeah, you're reminding me of a, another YouTube comment that we saw float by this afternoon from Paige Smith, who says, Maxwell, sir, I love your work and your tenacity of holding and speaking truth to power. So I wanted to make sure that you got your flowers there, Maxwell. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank Beautiful you. addition to this mm-hmm. recap. So we can't forget, gang, it was Groundhog Day yesterday. <laughs> Alden, lay it on us. Six more weeks of winter or no? Uh, yes, he <sighs> did not. He did, he did see a shadow. He, I he don't did know. Not did see he see a shadow or know. did he not? I think he did see a shadow, and that means Whatever that, yeah. means that you still have six weeks of we, winter. Yes, oh, yes. do you that, know that? This is he Chicago. We he don't need the. I mean, it's going to, I mean, who knows? It, it could <laughs> snow in, in May for all we know. <laughs> don't say that. So you know. I mean, but it's I, true. It, it's it probably going to happen. I'm just saying. All right. So now that we've got six more weeks, let's talk about some events that we can look forward to. Really just one event because we're running out of time in the coming months. And because uh, it's my show and I want to talk about Beyonce. Uh, <laughs> Beyonce is coming back to Chicago. I've been seeing uh, predictions for mm-hmm. some ridiculous ticket prices. Um, the cheapest being like a little over $500. Ooh. A really good Samaritan on Twitter, a fellow member of the Beehive in the UK, they posted the official prices because that's been released over on that side of the world in, in British pounds here in the US. We won't really know until Monday, but you know, anybody think this is going to turn into that Taylor Swift ticket master situation <laughs> all over again? Just oh. uh, it sounds like it will. I, I mean, I can't imagine Ticketmaster has taken any action to overhaul their system in the last couple <laughs> months. So I, I, f- I feel bad for anybody who's a member of the Beehive. I would guess you're you're going to have your problems trying to get those those tickets. Well, listen, I don't want to yeah. hear that. I, <laughs> but yeah. it's, I will but not have if any anybody problems. can fill Soldier Field and oh. it's, it's Beyonce, it's Beyonce. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm I will be there <laughs> in the front. I'll make it happen. All right, that's it for the weekly news recap. Our thanks to Alden Lowry, WBEZ Data Projects Editor, Lorraine Forte, Editorial Page Editor for the Chicago Sun-Times, and Maxwell Evans, Hyde Park, Woodlawn, and South Shore Reporter for Block Club Chicago. Thank you all. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you. you. That is it for Reset. The show is produced by Meha Ahmed, Linnea Dominic, Brenda Ruiz, Micah Yason, Claire Hyman, Michael Liptrot, Andrea Guthman, Andrew Merriweather, and Sarah Stark. Dan Tucker's our executive producer. Ethan Schwab and Haley Bloomquist were our engineers this week. Monday on the show, Reverend Otis Moss III will be joining us to talk about his new book called Dancing in the Darkness, Spiritual Lessons for Thriving in Turbulent Times. You don't want to miss that conversation. I'm Sasha Ann Simon. Thank you very much for listening and have a great weekend. We will meet again soon.